Okay, this video is just going to show some features of the indexing program for beginners. <coughs> In the top left hand corner of a batch, you can zoom out and then zoom in as much as you like. It goes up to 100% and down to 10%. There's also, you can like swap the black and white around. So it looks like that by using this button here. Next to that button there's also a brightness. So if you click that and then it comes up, you either decrease the brightness or increase the brightness. And you can increase the contrast and decrease the contrast also. Next to that there's a button for highlighters, which I'll show you on a different batch because this batch doesn't do it. This button here shows you here we have three batches down the side, and this button here shows you two of them on the one page. It's just to try and help you, but it does say do not index from this window, so you need to do this one first and then do that one. This here can just turn the record whatever way you like. So if it's upside down, maybe just give it a return to put it back to begin. Also, there is this is to save your the work that you've done. So if you're exiting it and you haven't finished the batch, just save it. That'll save all your work. To submit a batch, and in here, if we click on that, it comes up the different letters with like for here you've got your E acute so like for French maybe just this so for different letters for different languages so if you have that in your batch you just click on it like that and then it'll put it in also next to that the handwriting tool <coughs> which comes up in the right hand corner and it gives you different versions of how certain letters may have been made might have been written in those days. So you have your whole, alpha, your whole alphabet and four different ways of writing each letter. And then there's also these two which this one just if you click that it'll just mark the field as blank and then if you click that it'll just mark the field as unreadable. Um. Also down the side you have field help which tells you for each different field it tells you how to enter your data in the bottom right corner. There's also quality checker which just checks that all your data is in dictionary and if it's not in dictionary of the indexing it will come up red but that does not mean it's wrong it just means it's not in dictionary. Project information just gives you a wee bit of information about the batches which you're indexing and image navigation just to let you navigate around the image more easily. If we go back to <coughs> the home page and click on the census. Usually takes a few minutes to open. Okay, so for the census, you can use the highlighting tool, and all you do is you just give it a click, and then for your line number or your surname, say it's not very clear there. If I zoom in. But as you can see it's blue there and it's highlighting the surname. So the f as you go down your list, it goes down the image also. So it's an easy way for big ones like that to keep track of what part you're on. You also have all the other tools as well. That's more or less all the small features of 
the index and control down. I think. And down here you can set goals. Just click set your goal. Decide on your starting date, finishing date, and the number of records you want to index, and just click OK. And then this gives you your points. And then here's some sources of for questions, for tutorials, just different information about indexing program itself.